Hey everybody, welcome to Board Game Casual, and today we are looking at a fantastic cheap upgrade for the board game, Flamecraft. This is one of my favorite ways to upgrade a board game, and that's by upgrading the cardboard money tokens with some cheap metal coins. Specifically, this set of dragon-themed metal fantasy coins from Amazon. Now, if you've watched my previous video on upgrading the cardboard coins in Champions of Midgard, then this video may seem a little repetitive, because these are the same coins I used to upgrade that game as well. This particular set is a set of 100 metal fantasy coins with fake leather pouch made by Baihu, which I got for about 25 bucks. However, these coins also come in a smaller set of 50 that'll only cost you about 16 bucks if you want to spend a little less. Flamecraft only needs 20 coins, so you can definitely go with the smaller set and you'd still have 30 coins left over. You could even gift 20 to a friend who may have their own copy of Flamecraft. As I mentioned, I use these coins to upgrade my copy of Champions of Midgard as well, which on its own requires 60 coins, so I went with the 100 count set. There are actually two different styles made by this same company on Amazon. This set has a dragon on the head side and a flower weave uh, spiral pattern on the tail side. And I think they look really great and are a good fit for Flamecraft. The other style of coin looks pretty great as well. It features more illustrative dragon icons on both the front and the back of the coin. The back of the coin also has a really cool dragon scale pattern. I had a hard time deciding which style of coin I wanted. Honestly, if I were only buying for Flamecraft, I would have probably went for the other style of coin on Amazon with the scales and the dragon icon that to me looks a little more aligned to the game art in Flamecraft. Since I was buying these coins to split between Flamecraft and Champions of Midgard, however, I went with this style, which I felt was a little more abstract and a bit more Nordic looking. And ultimately, my decision was driven by the fact that these had a 10% off coupon at the time of my purchase, making them a bit cheaper. Honestly though, because both coins have a dragon theme, I don't think you can go wrong with either. I suppose one thing I should mention that I noticed is that some of the reviews for the other coin with the dragon scales call out that the color is more of a copper color than a gold color. I can't speak to those firsthand, but I can definitely confirm that this style is a proper gold color. So if that's something that matters to you, definitely give both a good look before making your decision. I certainly don't think a copper color would be bad. It would fit into Flamecraft pretty well. But again, if you want that bright shiny gold like these, these are a good buy. The coins themselves are awesome. They're a very high quality coin. They look amazing, they have a good weight to them, and they feel really good in the hand. In terms of size, they're about the same size as a US quarter, maybe a little bit bigger. Here they are next to the stock cardboard tokens that come with the game. You can see they're just a little bit larger. In another video, I purchased some cheap pirate doubloon style metal coins from Amazon as an awesome upgrade for Lost Ruins of Arnak. For comparison's sake, the pirate doubloons are a 7 8 inch size, and you can see they're quite a bit smaller side by side next to the dragon coins. By the way, if you're interested in learning more about these pirate doubloon style coins uh, and how they fit into Arnak, be sure to check out that video on the channel. Now the 100 count set of dragon coins I bought also came with this faux leather dragon scale pouch, which is actually better quality than I expected. It even has a spring clip for the drawstring. One side has a set of glow in the dark dragon eyes. It's kind of cheesy in my opinion, but it actually matches the Flamecraft theme pretty well. Uh, my girlfriend thought this looked like the dragon from How to Train Your Dragon. I should call out, however, that if you go with the smaller 50 count set, I think that set comes with a more standard leather pouch. Buy Who does sell the dragon eyes pouches separately. There's a, a, a few they have to choose from, so if you really want them, you can check those out on Amazon. For Flamecraft, you only need 20 coins, so personally, the pouch doesn't really matter that much to me, but I suppose it's a nice bonus. 
These coins are a perfect complement for Flamecraft. They feel like they belong in the game. A first-time player would never know they're not a stock part of the game. The tactile feel of metal coins really makes for a more engaging experience. Your brain naturally sparks up when you get to pick one up as a reward or when it hears the clink sound of stacking them into a pile in a way that cardboard tokens just can't replicate. Holding the coins in your hand just feels so satisfying. Metal coins really elevate the gaming experience overall. If you've watched any of my other videos, then by now you've probably noticed I'm just not a fan of cardboard coins in games. I mean, of course, cardboard money tokens do the job. And by no means is a game unplayable if it uses cardboard tokens. But if there's anywhere I'm going to spend a little extra money to upgrade a game, it's always going to be some sort of cheap metal coins. Such a small investment really pays dividends in how much better it makes the game feel. And in my opinion, makes the game more intuitive for newer players, distinguishing currency from other components and reducing that cognitive load. If we break it down, this set of 100 coins comes out to just a little over 24 cents a coin. That means the 20 coins I'm putting into Flamecraft only cost me about five bucks. So in my book, these coins are a no-brainer. They're affordable, they up-level the overall game experience and table presence, and they look fantastic. The dragon theme is a perfect complement for Flamecraft. And even if you only get the 50 pack, you'll still have 30 extra coins left over for another game. If you're a fan of Flamecraft, I highly, highly recommend giving these metal coins a shot. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video useful if you're thinking about picking up some metal coins or looking at ways to upgrade your copy of Flamecraft. And if you decide to get these or the other style coins of Amazon, let me know what you think down in the comments. Thank you for liking, thank you for subscribing, and I'll see you next time here on Board Game Casual.